Chris Kershaw, in her book on Odin and the Indo-European Mannerbund, or Koryos tradition, cites the suggestion of the scholar Stuart Pigott that Fionn Makul could be the Gaelic god matching the Vedic Rudra and Norse Odin. It turns out this intuition was right. Fionn is the god of the wandering war band and hunting party called the Fianna. The legendary band of Fionn reflected a real Fianna band in Gaelic society. They would spend summers living and hunting in the wilderness and would return to the fortresses of lords and kings during the winter months, during which time they were also known to train their poetic knowledge. They had a policing and mercenary or bodyguard function, but also were known to be raiders at certain times. Kelta, a member of Fionn's Fianna, is known for a rampage during which he madly kills livestock, a common feature of the Rudras in Vedic tradition. All of these things are in line with what we know about the Mannerbund of other Indo-European societies. As Kershaw shows, the Rudra-type god is the leader of this special hunting and war band, the Rudras, and Fionn, likewise, is leader of his band of Fianna. Fionn thus is both a hunting and a war god, with his two hunting dogs always by his side, and with his wife taking the form of a deer, and his son being named Oshin, or Little Deer. The war god aspect of this Celtic god is emphasized much more clearly in Fionn's Welsh counterpart, Gwyn ap Neith, who in one poem is called The Hope of Armies, and emphatically states, I come from battle and conflict. Fionn has the myth paralleling the Rudra-type god Odin when Odin famously hangs from the windy tree. The Irish version of this myth is called The Hunt of Schlieff Quillen. In this tale, Fionn three times swims the lake of the Kailiach, which turns all things white, a quality it shares with Erd's well from the Norse myth. He is aged to an old man, drinks from a magical cup, and then fasts underneath a magical tree, finally gaining the power of prophecy thereby. This myth also parallels the sacrifice of the Rudra incarnation Ashvatama, of his own self to his higher Rudra self in the Mahabharata. And it also parallels the myth of Apollo chasing the tree nymph Daphne and then receiving the power of prophecy from her leaves once she is frozen into tree form. The bow-wielding Apollo is another well-established Rudra-type god that we can then triangulate with Fionn and Odin. After this myth, Fionn is shown to have the power of prophecy and magical insight in multiple tales. Fionn's Welsh linguistic and mythic cognate, Gwyn, is the leader of the wild hunt, and is also known for his hounds who run among the clouds, as well as for the demons and fairies he is tasked with keeping contained in the other world. Fionn's name means the knower, the seer, or the white, or blessed and comes from one of the most important archaic root words connected to seership, Proto-Indo-European W-E-Y-D, meaning to see. He is thus the Irish seer god par excellence. Fionn heals with water, as Rudra also is known to do. Fionn is the one who drinks from the well of wisdom, and tastes the salmon of knowledge, granting him all knowledge. Much like well-known myths of Odin, and the role of Rudra as esoteric initiator and god of consciousness, intellect, and yogic enlightenment. Rudra is said to share a drink of some sort of illumination with the long-haired ascetic in the Rig Veda hymn to the Kesson. We have to remember that all of the mythic Fianna members are equivalent to Rudras, with Fionn being their summation. 
Thus the Fianna member Gaul MacMorna, Gaul meaning one-eyed, along with other Fianna members like Celta, demonstrate the more destructive side of the Gaelic Rudraic deity. Gaul is one-eyed, and another figure named Finten, who shares the root of his name with Fionn, and has all the world's knowledge, is also one-eyed. This then shows that even though Fionn MacCool is not said to be one-eyed, the connection of the one-eye motif to the Rudraic types is retained in Celtic myth, as it is in Norse myth. A variant of Fionn, named Eber Finn, has the same function in the Irish creation myth that Odin and Rudra have in their respective creation myths. As Odin and his brothers divide the unity of earth and sky, known as Ymir, in the Norse creation myth, and Rudra Agni divides the union of sky and sky's own female aspect in the primordial moment of Rig Veda 10.61, Eber Finn and his brothers also break up the marriage of earth and sky, here called Eriu, meaning Ireland, this being the Irish Mother Earth, and Mac Grainia, who is sky, in the Irish creation myth. In this tradition, the act of division is depicted as a brief war, and the union of sky and earth is described as a marriage. But the meaning of the underlying myth remains the same, as the genealogy of Eber Finn confirms. Thanks to the well-preserved, albeit coded, Irish creation myth, we can verify that Eber Finn has the very same paternal lineage as Rudra does in Vedic myth. Eber Finn's father is the god of desire. In Irish, this is Galam, meaning ardor. In Vedic, this is Kama, who is the seed of Prajapati, which then matures into Rudra. His grandfather is the Prajapati-type god, then, who in Vedic myth is the world tree god. This is Irish Bili, or Bile, B-I-L-E, Billy being the word for sacred trees in ancient Gaelic culture, and his grandfather is the Brahman, or the Absolute itself. This is the Irish Briochan, lord of the great tower of Brigantia. Thus, the line of descent, Briochan, to Billy, to Galam, the god of desire, and then to Eber Finn, is identical to the descent from Brahman to Prajapati to Kama to Rudra. The preciseness and detailed correspondence of this genealogy, if it is understood, confirms to a degree of complete certainty that Fionn is no other than the Irish Rudra, very much the same god in nearly every quality and every myth. The Celtic Rudra type is a god of multiplicity, he may appear under multiple names, and so we must know the myths in order to track his forms. For example, the whole band of Fianna are offshoots, fragments, children of the Rudra type, and share his qualities in different ways. In Welsh myth, we have a clear parallel with Gwyn ap Neith, but we also have Taliesin, who is born as Gwion, a variant of the name Gwyn, and whose myth of sudden enlightenment via a magical meal and a burned finger strikingly parallels that of Fionn. There is the aforementioned Fintan, and there is the son of Fionn, Oshin. We also have the giants, Balor in Gaelic myth, and Isbathedin in Welsh, who at first seem only like demonic fiends, but who, when we trace their myths, turn out to be offshoots of the destructive aspect of the Rudra type, much like Gaul of the Fianna, who there is evidence to show may have been a variant of Balor. Finally, we have Ephnician of Welsh myth and his brother Nician. This pairing is the clearest example in all of European mythology of a Rudra-Shiva pairing. 
that is, the destructive and the peace-bringing auspicious sides of this god presented as a clear duality of two gods, a Rudra type and a Shiva type. This pair may require an entire video to themselves in the future, but their very existence is able to prove that the Rudra-Shiva duality is no later development but goes back to the time of the Proto-Indo-Europeans and was a core element of their theology. My book, Taliesin's Map, The Comparative Guide to Celtic Mythology, is available from Amazon. Link in the description.